Hello, my name is Christian Kahn. I'm a product planning engineer. We continue with this video series exploring how to use the Symbia UI. Today, I will show you how to create a schedule using the Symbia UI. In this session, we will cover general concepts about scheduling, what control this feature applies to, and we are going to walk through the process. General concepts about the scheduling. Scheduling is based on the back that schedules object implementation. Scheduling is one of the facility most important energy saving strategies. The reason why is it ensures that equipment runs only when it's needed. Scheduling in general facilitates the following tasks. Creating, editing and deleting schedules. Creating, editing and deleting calendars and exception schedules and viewing all effective schedules related to the equipment. What controller's schedule features applies to? This feature applies to Symbio 800, inversion programmable for IntelliPacks and chillers, also applies for Symbio 500, and applies also for Symbio 700 using the Symbio app, not using the Symbio UI. Please remember, there is no option to use Symbio UI for Symbio 700. An important note, the Symbio 400B and Symbio 210 are not able to have a scheduling. These controllers don't have real-time clock, which is required for a schedule. Now, from the summary page, in the left side, we can click Schedules, and this is our main page. The Schedules page contains four tabs, Active Schedules, All Schedules, all exceptions and all calendars. The Symbio UI leads you through the process of creating a schedule for your Symbio 800 or your Symbio 500. If you need help completing the steps, you can click the help icon located on each one of the pages. Now, to create a schedule, you can go here, create a schedule, and this is the first page. Here you can create the name for the schedule and you have three different options here. You can create a schedule for analog points, binary points of values or multi-state values. In this case, we are going to create a schedule for multi-state. You can select the start date and the end date for your schedule. If you don't put anything here in the end date, there will be no final date for your schedule. In this part, you can select the priority, the control priority for your schedule. Now you can click next. Now in this page, you can select the members of your schedule. Please remember one member can't be part of two schedules at the same time, for the same period of time. I'm going to select points, multi-state values, and I'm going to select occupancy stats. Let's simulate that we have a question about what to do in this page. We can select the help button, and here we can have the four different steps for the schedule creation. I'm going to select select members, and this is the help file for the select members. Going back to the Symbio 800 Symbio UI, I'm going to select Occupancy Status, click Add, Next. And in this part, I can create the events. I'm going to click here in Add Event, and I'm going to create an event starting AM for Monday to Friday, add. If we want, we can modify each one of the events. I can use this scroll bar and move the event to an early hour. Let's do this for Monday and for Wednesday. Also, if you want to delete everything or clear all, you can click in here, clear all. If you want to delete an event, you can click here in the event and go here to the recycle bin, 
and click in the recycle. After you complete all the configuration here, you can click here next and you will have your summary page. This is the schedule information with the name, the schedule type, the effective dates, the priority, here are the members, and these are the events that apply for this schedule. If everything is good, you can click here, finish. To review the status of the schedule, you can go from here, from the schedule page, to active schedule or all the schedule. You can click here in the name of the schedule and you have two different options. You can review the events, this is the results events, or you can go here and view the schedule information. Thank you for watching this video. For additional information on CMBUI, please stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series and the Equipment Controls Hub page.